Hey, what's going on guys? Knoxville 363, a very popular video type that I always do is how to root your phone. And today we will be doing the Samsung Galaxy S2. I will show you guys how to root the phone and in a separate video I'll show you how to get it back to stock. So as you can see right now, I just went through the process prior to shooting this video. And right now it's on stock and I will show you guys. If we go to settings about phone, as you can see, it's still Android 4.0.4. And the build number is stock F122. So let's just run through the steps here really quick and get you guys your phones rooted. All right, so the first link I'm going to put in the description will bring you to this screen that's right here. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click right here on mirror one. And it'll bring you to this site right here. Go down to where it says rooted. Click on it. And right here, you click on this. And it'll ask you if you want to save the file. Click Save File. Once it is finished, it'll give you this right here, which I just simply click and drag over to my desktop. You right click, and for Windows Vista or 7 users, you have to right click and hit Run as Administrator. On Windows XP, you might not have to. Now, by default, I always save everything of mine that I download to my desktop. Click Extract. And this will, this will take a couple seconds. Now in the meantime, I'm going to sit there and plug in my phone. Now I'm going to cut the video out. And I will show you what the screen will look like once this gets done. Uh, finish downloading. Process is actually very simple. If you've watched my ZTE video on how to root that phone, you're not going to have any problems with this. Now once that's finished, go ahead and click on this file right here, double click, and you will we'll get this box right here. Now I'm going to stop this portion of the video, and I will show you what to do next on your phone. Okay, now I was really was not specific, um, but what I always do is I just go ahead and click start, and you will have this where it says all threads completed, succeed zero failed zero now we are onto our phone what you want to do is you want to power completely off so once your device is fully powered off I mean these lights are on the bottom will go off alright so once you have successfully pressed in the power button and the volume down button at the same time this screen will pop up simply go ahead and click volume up once you do that, this screen will pop up. Now let's go back to the computer. All right, so if everything has been looking the same as what I have described in the video, you will successfully be ready to go. Now, your computer will, this will recognize your phone. This should be identical to yours. If it's still blank, something went wrong. Now, once you have this com up here in the yellow simply click start now it's very important that you do not unplug anything you just leave your phone alone and it will do everything that you need to do now this will just take a couple seconds or a couple minutes rather you will see the actual status bar going up on your phone the important thing is you don't want to power off your phone you don't want to unplug anything um, to save you guys the boredom of having to sit here and wait until it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and we will resume when it is finished. Alright, once the process is finished, you will see that you have successfully rooted your Samsung Galaxy S2 by Boost Mobile and you see the super user. Uh, the bad part about it is when now from now on when you load... When you power on and off your phone, you'll see that it is Sprint, so it has all the Sprint bloatware. But you can use Titanium Backup if you want to delete all that bloatware. If you don't know how to do that, I would not suggest you do that because there's always the possibility that you may delete important files on your phone. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up everything. It's very simple, very basic. If you guys have any problems you encounter, feel free to send me a message. Or leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to save the unrooting process, the putting in the phone back to stock video for tomorrow because it's already 12.15. I still have to edit this video and upload it. 
and I want to get some sleep. So, uh, thank you guys for supporting my channel. Feel free to share it, and subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys tomorrow.